This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Courtney Francisco. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. We now know a 16 year old died after a triple shooting in Northside Friday. Police say Cornelius Foster Jr. died the next day. Officers were called for a report of shots fired around 1130. Around the same time, investigators say three people showed up at the hospital with gunshot wounds. We are still working to learn the conditions of the other two victims. If you have any information on this shooting, call Crime Stoppers at 513 352 3040. Police say a suspected intruder is dead after breaking into a woman's home in Mount Healthy. Deputies say he was Gregory Lyle, 33 years old. Investigators say he broke into his ex-girlfriend's home on Park Avenue through a window around 2.30 this morning. Deputies say he assaulted her before someone else inside shot him and he died at the scene. The sheriff's office says no one has been arrested in the incident. The men and women of the 617th Military Police Branch of Kentucky's National Guard are in New Orleans to assist with Hurricane Ida recovery. They loaded up the trucks and began the journey on Friday at noon. They will be deployed for 25 days. Thousands of families are crowding along both sides of the Ohio River tonight for the return of Riverfest and the Western and Southern WEBN fireworks and the big show starts around 930. So let's get straight to Taylor with what you can expect for the forecast out there. Well, Courtney, it will be quiet and comfortable for the remainder of the evening across the tri-state. Throughout the next several hours, we'll see temperatures mainly in the 60s. However, tonight we will cool off into the upper 50s and some mid 50s as well. Throughout the overnight hours, we'll see mostly clear skies and we will be dry for the remainder of your Labor Day weekend. Tomorrow, a high of 81 for your Monday. We stay dry with plenty of sunshine and comfortable conditions. Much lower humidity makes its way towards the tri-state tomorrow and we'll see comfortable dry conditions for the remainder of the week.